Right, eh? So, this episode shall be. I think it's the Gearbox Cross Member and some front end stuff. And. Yeah, I think that's what's going to be on this one. Anyway, kick back, enjoy. Got those engine plates and mount cut out. That's cut out and just bolted to the bracket. Uh, once we get it all made up, then I'll trim them back all nice and neat. But for the time being, that will do there. Um, from my explanation in the last video, if it didn't make sense, so I cut the rubber off that piece. So the rubber used to come off there and then there was the plate. So we'll have plates coming off there, straight down onto those plates. Um, we'll see how it goes anyway. If it's going to be rubbish, well then I'll get rid of all that and muck around and make just a flat plate. <laughs> well, it can't be flat because the block is um, not even on the other side like this side. But I've made a plate there. Drilled it, just got some random bolts there, just holding it for the time being. So same thing here, we'll have plates coming down and then probably gusted between them. That'll gum them down onto that plate. So, got that in place, that one in place. I'll probably rip those out just to get it back in there to give me more room. For the marking out, of that other plate, basically this is the um, bracket that bolts to the side. I marked it out, cut it out, put it down on the piece square, and then got a spray can and sprayed down the holes, which give me the perfect circles to get dead center of each. And Lined straight up, no diagonal, no nothing. So every now and then I have a win. Yeah, so we'll get this in place and see what bits of steel we need to make to fill in the gaps between those and those. So this side's not gonna. Am I recording? Yeah. So this side's not gonna play the game as good as I thought it is, is because this plate actually hits on the bolt so what I'm thinking is they'll take it off cut that plate off and then that bracket might just be able to weld straight to that plate so that might even work out better than um, I thought for this side but I'll get that out and we'll have a look so we have some tacks thrown down with some bits of uh, scrap to uh, hold the shape so we can pull it out and then make some nice um, nice bits to fill in. I'll oh, see if we can pull it out without pushing them all out of shape. Got those mounts back in, just uh, tacked in position. And we're going to begin. Ugh on the gearbox cross member just jack this up a little more yeah so i've already done that bottom piece so from here I can get a height to there to know the next pieces. Um, yeah, so I'll get something to sit along this edge so I can get a height. Um, what do I have that's that? Is it long enough? Not, not 
quite. Um, anyway, so I'll find something and get on to that. So I've got my measurement. It's three inches, the drop down. So, as you can see, I've got my highly technical piece here. So I've drew a line at three inches, put that piece in place and marked it. So now I'll get my piece and cut it all. Get out of here. And then flip that over to make the next piece out that way. And I'll just duplicate that piece by flipping it over. Yeah, but now to mark that out, so that's half of 45, which is whatever that is, um, 45, 20, 22 and a half degrees. And I also got that by using highly technical bits of equipment. That's going to sit there. <laughs> so basically had me old, old thingo. I can't remember what it's called, it's been that long. And we'd set it up so it's 22 and a half. Yeah, so mark this out, cut it, and we'll see how we how it looks. So that's it, just lightly tacked together. So that was obviously my template I made, center line, bottom, top, and then made it all to those pieces and then these gaps on the edge are obviously for the angles. I'll knock them off, clean them up and uh, we'll uh, weld it out. So that's where the mount goes and then it's got two holes drilled out, <coughs> die grinded out larger underneath that I might um, slide those tubes up, up into after. Anyway. So knock those off and weld her out. Clean, we'll buff it back and weld it out. Not sure how well you can see that. Hopefully not too bad, but that's the transmission cross member done. It's not bolted all the way up yet. It's just sitting there, but yeah, that's how it's um, looking. So that with the engine, that's uh how it's going to sit in the car. I may have to uh, raise the bonnet a little bit. I didn't want to do that, but anyway, it's what's going to work best for, for everything. So, And to give me um, sump clearance, because as you can see, the sump does hang slightly lower than the cross member. So I might um build like a little skid skid plate for that. Good thing about these motors is if I do damage the sump, I don't need to rip the motor out to replace it. It's just only a little tin cover um, on the back side because the whole sump is like a structural member nearly. It's all all cast uh, right up. And just the, the hump is different. Yeah, probably so they could change it for um, like four-wheel drive models and that. They only have to replace that little piece. But anyway, yeah, time to rip it out, finish welding that mount, clean them all up. Yeah, wicked. That's a... That's a big milestone ticked off my list. Because now I know this is actually a, a feasible thing. It's, mount, it's mounted correctly. Um, I can pull that cross member out and start uh, prepping it and painting it. Oh, well, let's get this engine out anyway. That's the engine out. Um, cross members sitting up there ready to be cleaned up but I'll drop this cross member out and we'll strip it down well, 
Look how quickly that stuff, that coating come off there. We'll um, need to get onto that straight away. So we're stripping this front end apart so we can get it all painted up. So I actually went and bought some paint to do it in. Helps the cars unlocked. Oh. Grab it. So KBS chassis coatings kit. So that's what I'll be doing the front end in anyway. And Australian. So big tick of approval there. Um Yeah, so just pulling this front end apart, just trying to get this get this damn bolt out. Giving me grief. Now it does have a bit of a raised proud section there, so I'm not bashing threads and I do have a soft, soft hammer. Might have a slight. Where's the camera? Don't know if it'll adjust to that, but. Might have a, a bit of a slight kick in it, but anyway. So, we're stripping it apart so we can paint it. Anyway, so, slowly getting it all all apart That's the uh, first part done. Um, oh, what'd they call it? Aqua 
back with something or other. Uh, so now I'll dry it all off and then it'll be the second one which is like a zinc style coating. Well, we've got these bits all hanging up and I'll just put this in the vise. That'll be, that bit will be easy to get at um, once I'm all done. But anyway, time for stage two, which will be rust blast. So it comes with a squirter. Basically we go around and I believe just keep squirting it for 10 minutes. Apply rust blast uh, with the spray bottle brush roller, blah, blah, blah. Uh, for a minimum of 10 minutes. Yeah, just got to keep it wet, I believe. Anyway, I'll read it and get it done. Ooh, if I don't bust it all before. Another good thing about hoarding, my old weights rack before I bought that one. I started chopping it up, luckily I never finished, but it wouldn't have a paint stand. Well, for those of you who have used the product before, you would have known. And if you'd read the instructions all the way, they had to rinse it off once it was done. So anyway, that's it all done. Look, look how that come up. That come up mint. Um, now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that stuff basically does exactly the same job as that... Poor 15 product one as well. That if you're a long time watcher, you would have seen me use on the tire, spare tire carrier on the Dodge. Um, which is a bit of a mess in here at the moment. We can, do I even have it over here? Yeah. This stuff here. This metal ready rust remover. The stuff smells the same, acts the same and everything. Except look at the price of that. 88 dollars. This stuff here was super expensive. Look at 54 354 dollars. It's out of control. Um so I bought that that whole KBS kit from a shop in Brisbane, um, what was their name, it was like s something paint supplies, I can't remember, but yeah it was like a hundred and, it was under two hundred dollars anyway, it's like a hundred and eighty something dollars, but then again that's just with a litre of that rust paint. Where that one over there is three hundred and fifty odd dollars for four liters, but then again, that's only just the paint. So that three hundred and fifty-four plus the eighty, you know, four six, four five hundred, five hundred odd something dollars. I don't know. Can't do math off the top of my head that quick. Yeah, and I got all that for. So plus Australian made. So. If I was to do it all again, I'd probably just go get that, get that stuff. But I'm still yet to test the paint, so I'll go out here and drop my air blower, blow all that stuff off, carry it all the way back in the shed to where it can dry off, and um, I'll probably paint it tonight when it's all 100% dry. Must be getting close to that time to go pick my young fella up from daycare. I don't know, two, quarter past two. Got a little bit of time, but anyway, blow that off and 
Yeah, card it all back in here. Right. That's them. Painted up. I didn't paint the surfaces that you know, need to be like super smooth to have things sitting square. So the edges of the paint, uh, the edges of the caliper brackets and the faces there I'll um, just sand back a bit. Um, yeah. That's it. <laughs> So I still need to paint that piece where I had it in the vise and get the bits I missed, like a little bit there and the whole inside of that engine mount. Yeah, that's it. Done. Right, eh? So I guess I'll call it this episode there. Hopefully I can load it up. So the last video I tried to load up and it turns out my computer is that old that I can't update it anymore, which in turn won't let YouTube update. So I'm kind of stuck when it comes to uploading videos from my computer. The last one I've done I had to edit it all up on my computer, transfer it to a thumb drive, and then put the thumb drive in my tablet and then upload it off my tablet, which then takes away a lot of um, being able to edit it because once it's on the ta once you load it from the tablet to YouTube, it just throws it straight on there. So I don't know what the the little picture's gonna be, although I haven't been very good at picking the little pictures to start with. I think there's one of me getting into the Valiant and it's like I've got something wrong with me. It's like, ooh, it's pulling some weird face. Anyway, we'll see how we go and hopefully we can get this online. So next video will be, I don't know, I'll be putting the front end back together, but that's pretty, Pretty boring and pretty basic stuff because I'll just be greasing the hell out of everything and putting it back together. Yeah, but anyway, hope you're all doing well. Catch you the next time.